Catholics and Protestants. It, Another one is Bible alone. What's our source of authority? Well, it takes us back again to the church because when Jesus went up into heaven and the on the Mount of Olives and they watched him go up and the last thing they saw was this bottom of his dirty feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He did not turn back around and say, oh, and by the way, guys, don't forget to read my book. <laughs> there was no book. There was no sola scriptura Bible alone. No. There, th what did Jesus leave behind? He left behind 12 men, the living magisterium of the church. He gave those men authority. He gave them the priesthood and authority. They were bishops. We know that even because the book of Acts says that when Judas was gone, we have to get, find another man to fill his bishopric. Mm -hmm. That's what it says in the King James Version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. So you have Jesus leaves 12 men, one of them carrying the keys of the kingdom, and those men went out and taught and preached and practiced, and what they taught and preached and practiced and wrote became the apostolic tradition. So you first have the men, the magisterium of the living church, then they give us the apostolic tradition. Some of that got written down, and 100 years later was collected into one book called the New Testament. But it didn't come along for, for, for the end of the fourth century. Some of those writings were there and people were using them as scripture, but there were other books added for some. Most of the churches rejected Revelation and 2nd and 3rd John and Jude. Some rejected Hebrews. Some rejected anything that didn't come from Paul. Rejected Matthew, Mark, and John, and only accepted Luke because that was Pauline's. So, the, the point is, is that sola scriptura can never work. I do a whole talk on this, why it couldn't work. You could never start a religion based on a book alone because all through history, more than 90% of the people are illiterate. Mm -hmm. They didn't have the collection of books for the first four centuries. And when you did have the book, they didn't have printing presses. They didn't have paper. So you couldn't mass distribute them. Nobody, and still you had 90% or more illiterate, and they didn't have their own Bibles. They went to the church to have a Bible and to hear the Bible. And then when you finally do have a printing press, Martin Luther says everybody can translate it for them and interpret it for themselves. Now everybody goes off and starts their own churches. And so it's never been proper or possible to start a church on a, a basis of a book alone. Mm -hmm. So sola scriptura is a big difference with us and them. We have the scriptures and sacred tradition, which are one spring of revelation manifesting itself into things, scripture and tradition. In fact, scripture is part of the tradition. Mm -hmm. the and so, <laughs> and then we also have the magisterium and the Protestants have rejected all of that. And they are, each Protestant is their own Pope. Mm -hmm. They, when Martin Luther got rid of one pope, he created a billion new popes. That's another big difference. Another big difference is how you get.